course, at the time, drawing a comic book was nothing. But being able to put it into digital format was a whole other thing. Because we were required to uh, use Illustrator and Photoshop. Mm-hmm. So playing with both of those was kind of like weird at the time. Mm-hmm. But I stuck with Illustrator because it seemed more easy to use. Okay. Uh, I can remember being in a college library copying a picture of uh, Scarface from the internet. Okay. And I did the layers thing. Uh, mm-hmm. I basically paste that picture into Illustrator and just start tracing on top of it. Mm-hmm. You are listening to Vector Maestro. This is DTM with Vector Maestro's episode 4 and a great interview featuring Justin Anderson, a.k.a. Artist53. Our goal is to encourage anyone to explore their creativity and master the pen tool. We are proudly supported by Microsoft Surface, Mike Atlanta, ArtistKing.org, and AzaleaCreativeGroup.com. In this Vector Maestro's podcast, we bring you the insight and advice from an awesome illustrator, Justin Anderson. Find Justin's art online and on social medias like Instagram and more under Artist53. Name is Justin Anderson. I'm from Columbia, South Carolina. And uh, what type of art did you do growing up? Mm, type of art I did? Um, Ninja Turtles. Ninja Turtles. <laughs> <laughs> um, G.I. Joe. Some made up things, some doodles, you know, all kinds of stuff. Batman, Marvel, every, everything comic related. Okay. And um, what 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 art and, and artists inspired you during that time? Man, I loved uh, at the time. I I, I liked uh, Eric Larson. You know, I mm-hmm. used to collect all the books that had uh, Eric Larson's art, which was the Amazing Spider Man. Hmm. Um, he did Dragon, uh, Savage Dragon. Yeah, he did Savage mm-hmm. Savage Dragon, and also uh, I was real heavy into Todd McFarlane. Uh huh. Um, first book I saw of his uh, his artwork was uh, the cover of Spider Man with the Lizard. Mm-hmm. Uh, I used to love those books, and that's like... when I first started collecting heavily uh-huh. and realizing that these books had value. Oh, okay. So uh, Todd McFarlane, Eric Larson. I mean, Alex Ross, you know, mm-hmm. when I found out about Alex Ross, I was in college. So, seeing his work was, I was like, blown away. Mm-hmm. That comic book art was taken to that level of uh, expertise in fine art. Kind of, you know, yeah, it towed was. the line uh-huh, between uh-huh. the two. Mm-hmm. So, I fell in love with all of that, man. So. So how has that art inspired you in your art style and the themes of your art? And what are they? Um, as far as uh, my art style, I, I, I would say that over the years it's been a a gradual, gradual progression you know, based on the artists that I liked to uh, emulate growing up, mm-hmm. like Eric Larson, um, Bold, Bold Lines, um, and also uh, artist Jackson Pollock with his paint styles of uh, paint drips and splashes of color. Mm-hmm. You know, Trying to take it back also to street style of art, making it gritty, grungy, but still clean in a sense. Mm-hmm. You know, drawing from the graphic design experience. Mm-hmm. So okay, so 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 clean, boldy, and then gritty. Yeah, and that's like yeah, that's your style. Gritty. Yeah, yeah, clean. yeah. So how long do you think you remember? Uh, did it take you to develop your style? And do you remember when you first recognized it? Like yeah, that's my that's my stuff. That's what I'm gonna do. At least twenty five years. For 25 years, that's how long you've been doing yeah, it? I mean, as far or as... it took so, you 25 years to get there? 25 years to get there. <laughs> like, I'm serious. Like, thinking thinking about the progression from then to now, it was like, starting out, I started tracing. I didn't have a style. I was just trying mm-hmm. to get the, the form of the human body down. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And over the years, I've been trying to get better and better and better. And that was the initial reason for me to go to college was to try to draw better. So uh, I picked up a few skills in graphic design, which kind of helped, you know, in certain instances, especially with making money. Um, But, you know, trying to draw better and then being able to 
pick on things that I uh, learn from and and, and uh, put those into my style. Mm-hmm. It just all came together to kind of culminate in one thing, and it and it was used in a in a painting that I did. Um, if you check my Instagram feed, um, Instagram artist zero five three. Um, you'll see three paintings with uh, skulls, mm-hmm. uh, where I use the paint drip style, and you know it kind of came together in that. That was the first time it actually came together for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, mix of Jackson Pollock, mix of comic book style, cleanliness of graphic design. Mm-hmm. So it came together in that one instance. Okay, and I think that was about ten years ago. Uh huh. 36 now. So. <laughs> <laughs> that was about 10 years ago. Uh-huh. So. All right. So uh, when you first came across Illustrator, did somebody tell you about it? How'd you hear about it? And uh, um, what did you think about it? It was uh, it was a weird experience trying to use a computer to draw with. Mm-hmm. Um, I took a Illustrator class in college, and um, we had to create a comic book. Of course, at the time, drawing a comic book was nothing. But being able to put it into digital format was a whole other thing. Because we were required to uh, use Illustrator and Photoshop. Mm -hmm. So playing with both of those was kind of like weird at the time. Mm -hmm. But I stuck with Illustrator because it seemed more easy to use. Uh, I can remember being in a college library copying a picture of... uh, Scarface from the internet. Okay. And I did the layers thing. Uh, Mm -hmm. I basically pasted that picture into Illustrator and just started tracing on top of it. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, this is is coming out. That was the first real experience Uh with Illustrator saying that I could actually do it. Uh Using the pen tool, clicking with the mouse. I was like, this is coming out nicely. Yeah. I sat there for a couple hours. I didn't eat or anything. I was just just going at it, man. (laughs) Just clicking away, dude, and uh, you got sucked into it. I, I stepped back and I said, "Hey, that uh-huh. looks kind of good there." I like that. So I just started using it. I mm. just started using it from there. Uh huh. That's a long time ago. <laughs> long time ago. And now you were hooked, huh? Yeah, basically. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. So, um, how was the learning curve like? Because you tried it, and that at that time, did you try to seek out uh, some lessons and classes, or you no, just um. Was it easy for you what to figure I, it out? What I did was just, uh, you know, keep messing with it and mm-hmm. learning on my own. Um, and I would always go to the bookstore. That was my thing. Mm-hmm. That's that's how I used to would, uh, catch inspiration. Uh, when I would get tired of browsing images for reference on the internet. Mm-hmm. And I was like, man, there's got to be more images of this stuff. So I would just go to the bookstore. I would mm-hmm. go to the library. And... At the bookstore, I came across this magazine called Computer Arts. Mm, that's right. And when I saw that Computer Arts book, I was like, hey. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I said, this is a magazine for $15, but yeah, it's expensive, it but is. it's worth it. It is expensive. So I picked up that magazine, and from that magazine, I was just learning tips and tricks from people over in the UK. And I was like, oh, people in the UK use this thing? They get busy. And then in computer arts, I saw the artist uh, Hydro 74. And I was like, uh-huh. that blew my mind. When I saw that, I was like, so this is what you can do with this program. Uh-huh. It's, it's astounding. Mm-hmm. Really. Yeah. <laughs> it opened your mind up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so what is your creative process like? Do you go from paper to digital? Or do you do digital, all digital? Start your sketches in digital? Um, what, do you, what do you do? I go from uh, sketch to digital. So what happens? Tell us a little bit about that. Um, you think of the idea? Come up, come up with the idea or concept. Um, begin sketching out. Um, you know what that idea may be. Uh-huh. Uh huh. The last best idea from that sketch will so get scanned, and then that scan will be uh, redrawn in uh, Illustrator. Mm-hmm. So when you do the sketch, is it very loose, or do you get very accurate so that you can uh, um, uh, just follow those lines you made? I try to be as accurate as possible so I can get a good, clean, finished um, drawing and illustrator. Um, okay. It doesn't have to be, but that's just the way I am. Uh-huh. Um, I've done sketches the way I, where they're just half sketches, and I was still able to complete the whole thing in the illustrator. Mm-hmm. Um, because you can really, you can really refine your uh, your, your sketches. Like, mm-hmm. say for instance, you you don't have a perfect circle or whatnot. That's really why I love the the use of the program. 
Mm-hmm. You can just refine your your drawings and your illustrations. Yeah, you can take it take it take it further than the original sketch, but you still use the sketch as the foundation of what you're going to do next, first, second, and third. Exactly. And so like like for instance, some um, I know you've drawn drawings where you know you got the art the guy's arm is cut off because the paper's not too big or you know what I'm saying. <laughs> You can't get, get right a, you, side of them. you can't get a full body. <laughs> so you know, I'll take I'll take a scan of that. You know, if I couldn't finish the whole body, I'll take a scan of that. And I'll I'll finish the whole body in Illustrator. Mm-hmm. You know, without even having to um redraw or sketch anything. Mm-hmm. So gotcha. it's 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 useful that way. Yeah, yeah. I mean, as far as my experience is concerned, it's gotten me to the point to where I don't have to mm-hmm. you know, rely on the finished sketch right you just go ahead and do it and so so when it comes to your process and uh and, and your sketch and stuff what kind of equipment do you use you mentioned a scanner yeah i got a pixma 800 multi-purpose uh-huh. scanner printer all in one okay um trust the old mac here uh-huh. just a regular old mouse and uh-huh. Pointing and clicking, that's it. That's it. Straight layers. Uh-huh. What's all what? work? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What version are you, an illustrator are you on? This is uh CS5. CS5, okay. No, CS6. Six. It's five. Yeah, all right, five. choose choose one. Six or five. Choose one. It's five. Okay. It's five, guys. All right, cool. And uh and, and it works well for you. Yeah. It does what you yeah. need to do. Yeah. Yeah. I wanna try the new one though. Yeah. Most definitely wanna try the new one. I've Seen some videos and uh, which would make life easier uh-huh. as far as what the, the new tools are in mm-hmm. in, in those uh, programs. Yeah, but uh, you know this this does the job. Mm-hmm. This does the job pretty yeah. well. Yeah, good old point and click. I got machines uh, that are still running uh, CS. Yeah, yeah, they they work just fine. Yeah, it does. You know, and especially when you know the software well enough to do the things you want, yeah. then you do it. You yeah. knock it out. You got you go with what you got. Exactly. So uh, have you tried any other uh, Vector software? No, but I want to. Like, for instance, um, you know, I want to be able to walk around and draw instead of sitting in one spot. <laughs> <laughs> like, walk around and draw. Yo. <laughs> what I'm, does that mean? The How old, do you do that? <laughs> the, old, the older I get, man, I just want to move around. I'm tired uh-huh. of sitting in the same spot. Like, I want to sit in front of the basketball game and draw. You know, I want to do it on the tablet. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So it's not a case of, you know, always wanting to sit in front of the computer and click. I want to try the different technology to kind of see what I can do with it, what I can learn from it. Uh-huh. Because the, tech, the new technology is, is amazing. And it, it probably give you more of a precise finish on what you're trying to do yeah you know a different style a different aspect of it. but when you're saying walking and drawing are you mean like a tablet yeah a tablet uh-huh yeah. A tablet for uh mobile use yeah 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 you know i want to get i want to get out of here you don't have to <laughs> sit in a desk exactly We're working on it yeah exactly yeah. i want to sit outside and so so it. so you know about adobe draw i just showed you my ipad uh-huh, you uh-huh. know it's, it's badass yeah. and what i didn't show you was that as soon as you finish drawing then you export to Illustrator and it opens in Illustrator. I didn't show you that part. I know. I'm going to show you that part. And uh, <laughs> what? I've been learning about this stuff myself for the last few Yo. months. Yes, and then I thought we just had an event online last week and I missed it because it was like three full days of this banging Illustrators in the, of the, these baddest dudes in the world. Mind, and uh, drawing. Mind, yes, I'm going to show you that. Blown, That's, I'm going to show you that stuff too because right? we, just, we just put away the iPad but I'm going to do it again. All right, blown. so... But you know, but so so when it comes to other software, you know, Google has this thing called Boxy mm-hmm. SVG, and uh, if you use Google Chrome, that's some other uh, that's free vector software. Then Affinity uh, just put out uh, Affinity Designer, Boxy SVG. Uh huh. And then Affinity Designer that was fifty bucks a, uh, a year, or just no for the for the whole for the for the license fifty dollars. And then um, Inkscape is another software, and, uh, and I think that's Mac. And it's and then uh, what was the one I showed you the other day? It was uh, it was like a comic book. Uh, is that's a Medibang? That's Medibang. Medibang. But the Medibang is for drawing. It does not have vectors. Okay. 
I think it may. Can you convert it? You should be able to. I don't know. Uh, I've never tried it. I've tried Manga Studio, and Manga Studio does vectors. Now, that's that's one thing I want to try, too, is Manga Studio. Yeah. Um, yeah. And that's, that's something I want to put my hands on and see right. what I can do with that. But I know that some of this software is uh, uh, that does vectors. That's what I'm interested in because, you know, um, you try to create stuff um, 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 for... for for your clients and right. for your business, and you need a vector illustration. And there was another app called iDraw that I think is it's called something else now. I forgot, and I have it in my iPad. And it's a vector illustration and uh, uh, software also. But they export it as SVGs, whereas Adobe Draw exports right onto Illustrator. So if you if you have the Creative Cloud, and uh, then you use your, from your iPad, you can it'll it'll Man. open up it'll Man. open up Illustrator on your desktop. And the image appears there, and it's already a vector. That would be awesome. That is crazy. I'm that telling you, it's awesome. nuts. It's nuts. That would be awesome, man. So, besides that magazine, um, you know, Computer Arts, I know I, I used to read Layers, and uh, I forget now, all kinds of... Imagine FX is one of them. Yeah, that was one. Um, uh, I was actually featured in Imagine FX. Yeah, you uh, were, weren't yeah, you? Yeah, that's right, that's right baby. I remember that. Um... What, do you go online and read any blogs or follow any yeah, um, yeah. tutorials? I look at other artists too, see what they're doing. Uh-huh. Behance is a good source. Yeah, you know, yeah, to yeah, see yeah. What others are doing with the vectors? Because mm-hmm. um, I'm looking at it from a, from a basis of you know how could I add that to my repertoire or mm-hmm. you know, that style they're using is great with that specific color. You know, that's that's what I'm really looking at. Um, but styles a lot of styles that people it's, use it with because the vector illustration it is it's like dang it's not the you know you got the archer style with like the cartoon the the animation and that they use an illustrator yeah. and so it's very clean and sharp yeah. but that's just one style of many you right. know a ton people right. are crazy with yes this stuff. yes and i love it yeah the, the the broad range of what you can do is uh it's amazing man. yeah that's it's amazing nuts. so um what kind of art do you prefer to create an illustrator that uh, satisfies you personally? Um, right now I'm working on something that's called the Hands of Doom. Um, that's been very near and dear to my heart uh-huh. um, for the past uh, couple years. Um, I had the idea to kind of destroy the cultural icon of Mickey Mouse. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so and why do I do that to Disney? I don't know. It's like uh, you think about it, right? You see these cartoons now. I, you know, I got three kids. Mm-hmm. So, I see these cartoons now, and they're all, to me, they're watered down. Yeah. Like, you know, when I was growing up, you know, Bugs Bunny was running around with dynamite. <laughs> yeah. Running away from Elma Foot with a shotgun, you know, uh-huh, stuff like that. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So, you don't see that anymore. You, know, you right. don't see that at all in any of these cartoons. So, I said, well, maybe I could take that and destroy the cultural icon of Mickey Mouse. But without getting in trouble, you are crazy. I had to switch it up. So uh-huh. one day I went to the library and I was flipping through some old illustration books and this old Disney book and I came across this sequential of Mickey Mouse. He was holding a gun to a lion. I was like, uh-huh. ah, he was being I've, ne- I've was never being seen gangster. that before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah. like, this, that's crazy. So that's when the idea clicked. I can still destroy Mickey Mouse, but I can't use him specifically, but use those gloved hands. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And that's when the idea clicked for the hands of doom. Where I display different handheld weapons that have been used throughout history. Okay. And so, I think once uh, once I'm done with that, huh. you know, I think I'll move on to the next thing. But that's that's really where, you know. I like that idea. I wanted to play with that idea with uh, with pencils and markers instead of weapons. The tools of art. Yeah. Yeah. I got too many ideas, man. No, I just got, I just don't have time to do everything. Yeah, yeah, but that's a good, that's a great idea. Keep Destroy it going. It. You should keep it going because I mean, <laughs> you, you never know. You never know, man. Yeah, I got you. Keep so, it going. so tell us about your social links. Where do we find you online? Uh, you can find me online on Facebook, uh, Artist Zero Five Three. You can also find me on Instagram, Artist Zero Five Three. Uh, Twitter, Artist Fifty Three, and our website. Artist53.com. Awesome. Do you have a Behance? Page? Um, I don't remember the link exactly, but I am on Behance. It should be Artist53. It should be Artist53. Artist 53. 53. <laughs> right. And do you have any advice for up-and-coming illustrators? Um, 
Rome was not built in a day. Uh, if you have a project that you're very passionate on, especially with your whole career and a whole as a whole, uh, keep going, keep pushing. Because one, once you get to a point in your life, you're going to sit back and think, you know, I really hard, worked hard to get to the position that I'm in. Mm -hmm. You're going to be able to look back and look at everything that you went through and say, you know, it took some time, but I finally got to where I needed to get to. This was your Vector Maestro's podcast. Tune in to YouTube for free tutorials and tips on Adobe Illustrator. Follow us on Facebook and check out the Vector Maestro's online course to master the pen tool at VectorMaestros.com. Until next time, this is DTM at VectorMaestros.com.